Hi guys, it's Andrea. So today I'm going to be showing you all my dolls and what they're wearing for 2022. I didn't expect to do another one. I did a video last year, but I did get three new dolls, so I thought I would make a new updated version. So yeah, let's get started. My first doll we have is Andrea. She's my mini me. I got her from the American Girl Play Chicago in 2007 and I really love her outfit. Here she's wearing a bucket hat that I made, a sweater that I actually used to wear as a kid and then it shrunk in the wash and now it fits the dolls. I must have been super tiny for that to fit. And she's also wearing a green shirt underneath and some blue jeans from Little Lavender Thread and I also found the American Girl Heelys at Once Upon a Child which is very exciting. So. I knew she just had to wear it. Next up, we have my sister's lookalike doll, Sophia. She's just like you, number 25. We also got her in Chicago in 2007. She's wearing a hat from Our Generation, shirt and necklace from American Girl, dress that my sister actually made, and tights and shoes also from American Girl. Next up, we have Lonnie, girl of the year 2010. I'm pretty sure I got her online. And she is my first girl of the year doll. She's wearing this gray hat from American Girl, this white sweater that I found in a local shop that was selling some doll clothes, so I'm sorry I can't really link it, <laughs> so I'm not sure where else you can find that. Her ripped jeans are from Stitching Dolls and shoes are from Michaels. Next up we have Julie, who is my sister's doll, also bought online in 2010. She's wearing a hat that we got on Etsy, a shirt that I made, and the shirt and skirt that Boy Meets Dolls made and sent to me. And she's also wearing some white shoes that I repainted to look like Adidas shoes. They're kind of scratching now, so I should probably repaint them, or I should have sealed them to be honest. But yeah, that's what it looks like now. <laughs> Next up we got Mia. I got her for my birthday in 2011. She's wearing this blue hat that we bought somewhere in Germany. I'm not sure where you can get that here. This jacket is from Etsy and her sweater is Corinne's meat outfit. I think it's really cute actually. It's one of the best meat outfits they've had recently. And then she's wearing some pants from Michaels and her meat shoes actually. I love these shoes. I swear these are the reason why I got Mia. <laughs> Next up we have Avery who is my sister's doll. She's wearing this black bucket hat that I made, this white shirt from Our Generation, Courtney's fanny pack that I put sideways to look trendy because that's the way people wear it now. <laughs> and then she also has these American Girl snow pants on, but I think they kind of look like joggers. I think they look cool. And she also has some socks from American Girl and shoes from Etsy. Next we have Ruthie. Her top is from Little Lavender Thread and she's wearing a shirt which is actually a dress that's tucked into her pants from American Girl and some white pants that I made. Uh, they don't fit that great so if they look like they're sagging it's because I didn't make it correctly. And her shoes are from American Girl. Next up we have Sage and I love her outfit. I think it's so cute. So she has this headband from American Girl. The white shirt underneath I think is from Amazon and she has this Syracuse sweater that I made on top of it. Her black checkered pants I also made and she's wearing shoes from American Girl that I actually got on Mercari and I didn't notice that the shoelaces are two different shoelaces but yeah that's just the way it is. Next up we have Clark. I got him from American Girl Place Orlando in 2017. He's a Logan doll. Clark is named after Clark Gregg because I had an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. obsession. <laughs> he always wears these blue glasses from American Girl because I wanted to differentiate him from Logan. Logan gets a lot of hate by people. You know, it's for valid reason. I do get the whole thing with using the Kaya mold, but I think it's still a pretty cute doll. He's wearing a white shirt that I made with a brown vest that I also made on top of that. And he's wearing American Girl blue jeans and his own meat shoes actually. Next we have Adelaide. I also got her from the American Girl store in 2018. She's wearing this green jacket which is from Build-A-Bear. I love this jacket. I think it's so cute and it fits really well actually for being a Build-A-Bear item. Sometimes they don't seem to fit but this one does i think because it's a jacket it's meant to fit oversized anyway and she's wearing this checkered shirt that i made for an olivia rodrigo recreation she's wearing these pants from american girl and shoes from amazon next up we have wendell which is a boy doll that i made i think the place where i got the wig closed so i probably won't be able to link it but i really like this doll and his curly hair so he's wearing these glasses from american girl he's a little nerd and he's wearing this blue shirt that i made underneath this green American Girl sweater, which is an older item. I forgot the outfit, but 
a lot of people have it. I think it's very cute. He has this tan bag that I made, these brown pants from Etsy, and these brown shoes, which are actually a Biddy Twins outfit. I think his outfit looks very scholarly, autumnal, like kid on a college campus. I don't know. I just love this outfit. Next up, we have Nora. I want her in a giveaway, which was very generous. She's wearing earmuffs from American Girl, white button-down shirt also from American Girl. She's wearing this crocheted top that I got on Etsy on top of that, and a black skirt that I actually made, and it actually matches a skirt that I actually have, so I made it specifically to match me. And she's also wearing these shoes which I got on Etsy. Next up, we have Marlon. I also want him in the giveaway, the same one with Nora previously. So Marlon is a name suggested by Boy Meets Dolls, so shout out to her. He's also wearing a jacket made by her, which is pretty cool. It has this purple cat on the back because if you know Girl Meets World, Riley liked purple cats. Honestly, I don't even remember why. It's been such a long time since I've seen that show. But anyway, he has that jacket on with a gray American Girl hoodie underneath, some black pants that I made, and some American Girl tennis shoes. Marlon is the only Our Generation doll that I have. I did have another, but I didn't use it, so so I donated it, but I really like this doll actually. I think he's very unique. My next doll is Emerson, which is a Welly Wisher that I also won in a giveaway. I have not gotten her any clothes that actually fit her, so she's always wearing clothes that are just slightly too big for her, and she's not gonna grow. She's getting hand-me-downs so that she's never going to grow it to. But anyway, she's wearing this oversized look. She has this brown bucket hat that I made. She's wearing this top from American Girl. It was one of Blair's outfits. She has this denim jacket that was actually from one of those Disney outfits that you can get at Target. It was the Jasmine one. She also has these blue leggings on. I'm not sure where they're from. I think they're from Michaels or one of those cheaper doll clothing packs. And she's wearing these shoes that I got on eBay and I have no idea where they're from. So if someone knows where they're from, let me know. And now we're moving on to the dolls that I didn't have last year. So this doll is Valerie. She was actually gifted by my neighbor. They were moving and they knew I liked dolls. So they gave me their American Girl dolls, which was very nice of them. So we renamed her to Valerie because they were originally named after our neighbors and I felt kind of weird about using their names. And she actually has her ears pierced, which the only other doll that I have with ears pierced is Sage. So I think that's pretty cool. She has some American Girl glasses on her head and she also has an American Girl turtleneck. She's wearing a gray jacket that I made. And she also has this backpack that I got from Etsy. She also has these gray sweatpants that I made and her Vans I customized out of some our generation shoes and put some checkered fabric over the top to make them look like Vans. The next doll is Carmen and she was also gifted by my neighbor. I really love her outfit. I think it's so cute. She has this purple American Girl beret on, this pink sweater that I made and then my sister embroidered a heart onto it. I think it's so cute. And then she's wearing this trench coat on Top. I don't remember where this trench coat is from. I'm very sorry. I don't I think it might have been journey girls And then she has Kit's meat outfit skirt on as well as some American girl white shoes that I use too much and are now filthy <laughs> Yeah, they need to be cleaned. It's funny how they need to be cleaned because they don't actually walk anywhere And lastly, like, I finally got a new doll like I actually bought this doll It's been a long time since I actually bought a doll. This is Corinne I was very excited that American girl finally released an Asian girl of the year doll like a fully asian girl of the year doll it's about time like i have no idea why it took them this long but i'm very excited and wanted to support and she is such a cute doll i love her blue hair i love her bond with her sister and i'm just gonna pretend that emerson is her sister because i'm not gonna get gwyn she looks very similar to emerson and i don't really need another willy wisher so so she's wearing this black puffer jacket that i actually made she's also wearing a white t-shirt and this checkered tank top that Alley Cat Loves AG made and it has like a winter theme to it so I think it's perfect for this doll. She's wearing a skirt from Amazon, some black tights that I made, and she's wearing some American Girl boots. And yeah, those are all my dolls for 2022. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another. I wasn't really planning on getting more dolls. I'm very happy with what I have. Like this is way more dolls than I initially planned on. And thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!